Yay, Pokemon Masters. I'm so keeping that in. Hey everyone and welcome to Virtual Accomplishment Once the Battle 2018. The Once the Battle tag set up by our good friend Birdkeeper Toby over on his channel and he puts all the people tagged into one big playlist and yeah I did it last year and I've been re-tagged for this year so here is my 2018 tag. What is the video you are most proud of making this year? and excited to make next year. I have made a lot of videos this year. It's hard to hard to think what I've made, but not just one video, but I guess I'm most proud of starting the Pokemon news videos. It's an idea I've been messing around with for quite some time and Joe didn't have time to do news videos on YouTube as well as run his website so I thought I'd give it a go and it seems to be going down well. I felt like the problem with a lot of Pokemon news videos they were maybe slightly oversaturated with personal opinion and people viewers were watching those videos and then getting upset when that person's personal opinion didn't come to be. So what I try and do in my news videos is try and get the facts across. I try not to put my personal opinion in but some people have been asking for my opinion on some of the stories so I've I've it's a fine line and I'm I'm trying to get the balance right it's still early days for my news videos they're growing and the quality's getting I like to think better and I know where I want to improve and how to improve and hopefully people like it as for videos that I'm most excited to make next year, I will soon be recording a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee co-op with Joe uh, because people asked for it and I thought, yeah, a co-op Let's Play. There aren't many that I've seen on YouTube and so I've come up with a few ideas to put a little twist on the co-op situation in Let's Go, hopefully it will work out and you shall see that sometime in the new year. As for other videos that I'm excited to make, I'm not really sure. It's we we don't really know what's coming up in the world of Pokemon apart from the uh, Gen 8 Nintendo Switch games. Obviously there'll be a lot of news around that so I'd be covering that nearer to launch. But until I was asked this question, I'd never really thought about next year in any depth. So I don't know, maybe uh, more toy videos, unboxings, products that I don't know about yet. It's all good. What is your advice for someone starting Poketubing? Uh, basically, it's not that easy. It's a lot of fun. And if you're not having fun doing it, then it's probably not for you. Making videos about games you enjoy really isn't for everyone. People on YouTube make it seem so easy. For example, the confidence of Birdkeeper Toby, A Drive, Leap. Like there are so many really confident YouTubers and I watch the videos and feel like I'm never gonna reach that level of confidence. I feel like as you go on, your confidence does grow, but you may not see it grow that quickly, if that makes sense. I look back on my old videos and like even from this year, the start of this year to now, I feel like I have gained a lot of confidence. However, I'm not quite there yet. So try and be confident with the videos that you are putting out. Your videos won't be perfect straight away. What you see in here might not be what you end up making in video. From personal experience, I get really annoyed where I visualize what I want from a video, but due to editing skill and time and money, I can't really put that across. So don't get disheartened. It takes a lot of practice and eventually your videos will get better. Also, now that Pokemon on the 3DS isn't really a thing anymore, don't go investing in a 3DS capture card because they're quite hard to get hold of, they're quite pricey and you probably won't 
get any financial reimbursement for that investment. I also advise on that note to get an Elgato HD60 Pro which is the internal computer capture device or the other Elgato HD60 external one. The future of Pokemon is on the Nintendo Switch and that means the ease of being able to get an Elgato capture device and streaming and making videos. I'm excited because making Pokemon content has never been more accessible and I am looking forward to seeing more Pokemon content creators appear and do very well. What can your viewers expect from you next year? I kind of answered this earlier but I'm not 100% sure. The Pokemon news videos seem to be doing really well and it should be an exciting year for Pokemon with Gen 8 Pokemon games releasing on the Switch. Hopefully there will be some spin-off games as well that I can cover. Also, toys and figures seem to be doing super well on the channel. So, as you can see here, I've last year's video there were no Nendoroids. Now I have unboxed them all. You can see all of those on the channel. Don't know if there's any more Nendoroids. Actually, there's one Nendoroid uh, green that is still to come out. So. I will be hopefully unboxing that one. But yeah, more of the same really, news videos, toys, unboxings, shiny reactions, and hopefully something else will happen that I don't know about yet, and videos on that as well. Let's go Pikachu, or let's go Eevee. Why not both? I had planned to have both the boxes here in my hands, but unfortunately I've forgotten and the video is recording, but I have both, so you can imagine them here. Oh, did you look at that? They just appeared. And yeah, I have been playing uh, Let's Go Eevee. Let's Go Pikachu will be a co-op Let's Play with Joe soon. And yeah, I collect every Pokemon games so this was no exception, but um, as for partner Pokemon, definitely Eevee's my favourite. Keep it short, how did you feel about Let's Go? There was a big uncertainty surrounding Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. While some elements looked great, some not so great. And yes, if we didn't know about the Switch games coming in 2019, this would be very worrying. But I went into it with an open mind and I was lucky enough to play the Viridian Forest part of the game at the Pokemon World Championships and I fell in love quite quickly. I have been feeling a little burnt out with competitive Pokemon for a couple years now. I played through Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon really really quickly because of the Pokemon International Championships. So I felt Let's Go was a nice, casual, fun break from all the super serious competitive side of the games. And also it's really important to remember these games are not really for the older Pokemon fan. In the last year I have felt that the games haven't been too accessible for the age group in which it was designed. I helped Joe's nephew play Pokemon Y on the 2DS and I could see through his eyes where things have drifted away and not as accessible. Also to monopolise on the Pokemon Go crowd and to make a stepping stone towards more serious Pokemon games. I get that. The oh, I was meant to keep this short. Basically, I love it. I think it's a fun game. I was nervous and I absolutely love it. It's a nice, casual, fun Pokemon game. And if anyone's still uncertain about it, I urge you to just try it before knocking it and hopefully you'll love it. Name a channel you think your audience would love. This is a really, really tricky one. Just like last year, I struggled to answer this question and I'm still struggling to answer this question. I don't really watch any channels that are smaller than mine. I don't watch YouTube much at all, really. So I'm going to take the easy way out again. Let me know in the comments. 
channels that you think um, I would like or other people watching this might like because I am I'm interested to find some new creators and yeah sorry I can't really answer this one again tag three people who you want to see do this tag I tag Sarah B. Joe who's sitting right there and I know he's not gonna do it but I'm gonna tag him anyway because I think he should do it because it's fun He's shaking his head. I also tag Lulu the Pikachu and Lee Provost. You may know these two lovely people from commentating competitive Pokemon events around the world. They both have YouTube channels as well. Lee focuses heavily on competitive battling and Lou is doing some amazing artwork lately. On that note, look, look at the pretty card that Lou drew. She is very talented and seriously check out Lou's channel for more uh, cool art videos. But yeah that's my 2018 battle tag video. As I'm recording this I'm about to hit 3,000 subs on YouTube. I've done it! Yes! So I guess at the end of this video I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that is subscribed to the channel or even watched one of my videos and to my friends for helping me um get there and being so supportive and i'm i'm rubbish at thank you speeches so i'm gonna stop now but yeah i hope you like this video uh if you are just watching me through the once to battle tag playlist please press the subscribe button for more pokemon videos and yeah i will see you guys next time